Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of pumpkins. Today, joined by just Michael. Yes, we're cracking a beer that I've had in my cellar for a very, very long time. That you specifically asked to be uh, the person who tried it with me. So yeah, you would love this brewery's old ales. Yeah, I love them. So I do as well. We're checking out another brewery old ale, and this is an anniversary old ale, and this is Etan, and this was their. Or Etain. Etain. And this was their old ale release in 2018. I've been out of getting their releases since. Uh, before this, I got every single vintage. Mm. And I've reviewed almost every single vintage except the first few ones. But, um, I think yeah. I didn't. I had the Pottery in the Amazing. two different versions. That pottery I have might the, be one of the best. Or uh, Yeah, there was some. Called uh, Sucre. Sucre. Was I didn't taste that. And there's also Cuvre. I haven't tasted that. There was many, but some of these I've given a hundred. Soli. La Sol. Sol. I tasted Sol. that. That was also great. I have one at home, actually. But we haven't seen any since it's home. No. Nope. I think, at least here in Denmark. I haven't seen any. Maybe they've been there. It's been under my radar. I'm not sure. But this was the last one. And I actually got this on Birgen. Uh, one of the sponsorships we have on the channel they used to get all of these all the time and we got it on there so thanks to the Santa beer gym for the beer for you know sponsoring years ago this is a bourbon barrel aged old ale on a whopping 16.3 percent alcohol it's uh, the tenth year that they're doing this with this specific bottle, this vintage of Etan, and it's a uh, yeah, Asian bur barrels, old ale with a little bit of the original vintages in. I'm not sure if they still do that, but that was how they did it originally, where they still put in a little bit of the original. They have had like blend with some old beer, maybe not exactly the oldest, but that's how it went. I think back in the day. But let's check it out. It's, this is gonna be interesting. So pours. What do you call this? Oh, yeah, you call it. Yeah, Coca -Cola. I mean, very nice dark copper. Yeah, cola like. Yeah. Beige looking head. It looks like a massive beer, though. Like you, when you swirl around, you see definitely alcohol legs on the glass. Just like Invictus. <laughs> uh, this is this is lighter than Invictus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, you know, I'm talking about the legs on oh, the yeah, glass. Oh, yeah, Look at that. Looks, the curtains exactly. look crazy. Yeah, but curtains. back in the day, this was, you know, for me, some of the best of the best barrel aged. You know, uh, it is still a, quite game. amazing beer to me. Yeah, it we'll is. see how this vintage is. Yeah. 18. So let's check out the aroma. It's very almondy. It's aged really yeah. well. It's almondy, marsupiny. Really dark fruity, too, though. But it smells like oxidized dark fruit. But I don't think it's overdone, but it's definitely aged. It's got, to me, a little bit of that like port or pruny. Yeah, or... Exactly. Yeah, you're right. It smells like we know it's pretty full on though, and it is smelling like scrapingly dry and woody. It has the same if you really take a deep breath, and it, it almost honey you can feel it in your nostrils. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, it is 16%. Uh, it is pretty massive beer, mm. massive beer, <laughs> massive beer views. Yeah, it smells really good. Honey, tobacco. Yeah. Uh, dark fruit caramel, Lip like honey. fudge. I don't know what Lip Heather honey. Heather, Heather honey. Yeah, because it's a bit like slightly dark mm, honey. Yeah. Yeah, just and like bourbon, yeah, mm, mm. but some oxidized vibes like in like like that like meaty old... vibes with that honey notes. It's, yeah, it's got some. Yeah, but uh, it has like that oxidized old uh, like old. It's like to me, it's like this smells like like old woody, like. It has like, it's maybe not like uh, oxidized in terms of like dark fruit, but it's like... I don't think like it has that much wood. It or that's like much wood. Of course it smells like raisins too. I don't get the wood that much on this one. Hmm. Well, let's try, let's try this one. an old bottle of it's on. Cheers, and thanks Cheers. to Beer Jim for the beer. Oh yeah. Wow, the mouthfeel is completely not what I expected, but actually what I remember it. It's, it's quite it's, thin. It is, it's fizzy. Yeah, it is. Like compared to what you have nowadays, it's way different. Um, but it, the, the flavor on it is it what really It actually couldn't wins. be thinner. No, it's, it is. <laughs> it is fizzy. It and is thin. really thin. 
But the flavor is, is, is great. But I remember it as being like oily. Oily and yeah, yeah. But the mouthfeel, like the residual sugar has just gone up, I guess. Like, <laughs> People want thicker and sweeter beers, so they put in more, you know, you know, they mesh differently or whatever, but it's not as sweet as I remember them. It has more raisins in the taste than in the, in the nose. Yeah, and figs and dark fruit. And I mean, the, those light raisins. Prunes so those, those, those raisins. Yellow raisins. Not the brown one, the yellow raisins. Is it Sultans? I don't know what it's called. Sultana. Sultana. Sultans. <laughs> Sultans. It tastes like Sultans. Sultans of swing. No, you, that's a uh, nice straight. That's a song. This, that's, that's you're going to nice be the straight. Sultan of Simcoe. No, wait. No, that, is that, we have one of those. Yeah, that's right. This is just, I, I, I taste the yellow raisins. Let's you, call you them yellow taste, raisins. Taste, yellow man, raisins. this beer tastes yellow. It tastes quite yellow. It tastes, it's got a lot of flavor, lots of fudge, lots of, lots of bourbon, and ven, like caramel, raisiny, daisy dark fruit, but I you just what? wish it had more mouthfeel. I, I'm quite disappointed with this one. For the yeah. first time on these anniversary ales, actually. But think about what we had today. In terms yeah, but of it's not that long, yeah, it's not that long ago I had the... I knew the what, I knew it would be like this, but I'm, I will say back in the day, things have moved along in this style, 100%. I don't think it's a bad beer in any way. No, 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 of course but not. It, beers nowadays done in this style are definitely better. And they're thicker and they're richer. I mean, just thinking about so, the barley wine we had today from Cigar City. That was more creamy and rich compared to this. You can tell by my... Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm really disappointed. Really disappointed. In this, I don't, I, this is what I expected. This was not what I remembered from the Pottery I had not that long ago. I think that but was maybe much better. is a better batch than it's on. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm quite disappointed in it. This is so thin and it's quite boozy. But that's yeah, how all. Know. But dude, that's how all of the brewery beers. Yeah, maybe are. I remember it wrong. I don't know. But the thing is, the brewery was the progenitors, or they were some of the first people to start doing things like this. And back then, I know. they were, you know, the first beers in this, you know, style. So a lot of people got not so great, and I still think it's really good. I don't think it's bad or shitty beer in any way, shape, or form. It's just not as thick and viscous and like, it's got the heft of barrel flavor and intensity that you want, but it's lacking on the mouthfeel, which drags everything down. It's almost like drinking cola because it's thin, thin and fizzy. I'm just, but yeah. that's because it's so strong. And that's because the aim of this series and a lot of other breweries beers are making these really strong beers. And that's, where it kind of falls apart a bit. But I think it has very decent flavor. It's a it's little the bit flavor, oozy, the, 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 Yeah, the flavor is, is okay. I mean, this is a quite uh, uh, surprising to me because I had... The fun quite, thing is Brett is loving this because he's a slightly new money. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, and he's, it's, you know, he wasn't into it this when these were big. And he knew this would be like this. So he yeah. thinks it's funny because he, I think he... I mean, you know, I think... He I knew have, it would be like this, but you... Expected like I mean, I had God to, tier. But I had pottery. I mean, three tier. times. I had a I had a sole at at home. A sole with the uh, with Tim, and I mean, I love this beer. When I ask you to taste this, I take it away. This is wide up my alley. I mean, this one is just I don't know. But don't all know. of them are like this, dude. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Maybe I don't remember well. I don't know. No, you yeah. remember exactly well. The thing is, just the brewing scene changes. People go more yeah, than that long ago. I had the pot. When did we have pottery, Tim? Brewing scene just six came. months ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Have you, in the I same share, had a mass a thicker black oh, barley wine? Perhaps in the not. same share, had uh, perhaps not. You know. Yeah. As even stronger stout that's but even I mean, better balanced. I mean, no. this is, yeah, I don't know, it's just disappointing to me, I'm, I'm sorry, but yeah, I mean, I, I, would, I, would, I would love to love this, but I'm, I'm, I am quite disappointed. It's still a great beer, but I thought it would be better. I'm not disappointed in any way, shape, or form. This was exactly what I expected. Like, super dark fruity, and bourbony, and slightly boozy, a dry, woody... But the mouthfeel, I, I, I think it used to be it, sticky, and you, you know... 
I don't think this is it. Yeah, but but it is. Perhaps it changes. Feel it's your not fucking good. lips. Feel your lips. It is still sticky. It is. It's yeah. just because things have gotten more nuts and, and people have you know learned more and done even crazier variants. You have That's, to think that this the recipe base recipe for this kind of beer. It's the same. Is yeah, and it's at least ten years old. This was the tenth vintage in eighteen. So things move along. It's aged well. It's very old school beer, but it's yeah. not crazy thick and rich and whatever you expect. I'm, I'm, this is exactly what I. I'm looking from forward to trying the soul I have at home to see if that is as disappointing as this one, or is it, or if it's the Italian that's more disappointing than the Pozzoli. Yeah, I, I like know. it. I think it's good. It, but is, it's, it is good. It is. And a it good has beer. nice flavor. It was just sure. not as good as but, I thought. No, but this is this is old money barrel aged beer, and that's what it is. It is. And that's how it is. Has it gotten better when you do these crazy malt cannons? Think a deal with the devil from Anchorage. Think, okay, these are Barney wines, but that uh, Anabasis. Uh, think, what else? Now it's hard because I'm on the spot. You know, just the, the, yeah, the, the black Barney wine yeah. we had today from, from Cigar City. I don't know. People are focusing more on like the body and everything, you know, the, the palette of beer drinkers changed, so many things. But back when this was released, or at least some of the other ones, this has been has been the pinnacle of like dark, sticky multi beer. And I'm still gonna give it a good grade, but I was just I'm still gonna give more. it. Yeah, yeah, I was just I'm, expecting. I'm, more. I'm gonna go 93. I I would agree. 92, 93. It has uh, it's there, fantastic but fantastic yeah. flavor. But the mouthfeel is what that drags this down. It is. it is because it's too fizzy and yeah. it's too like spritzy. It's like it has great flavor and the immense intensity of like this fudgy, and, yeah. dark fruity. And the bourbon, bourbon barrel yeah. is just so great on these beers. It is. And it, I mean, you're, I agree with you, the taste is good. The mouthfeel is dragging yeah. this down. I will say though that as it, it sits in the glass, it, it's, it gets a bit easier. Brett is laughing in the background. It tastes like drinking raisins. I think there's definitely more to it. Than yeah, it there is. It's, it, I think it's quite complex. The new money palette can. It has a lot of flavors. We, you know, you know, <laughs> I just called Brett new money. Sorry, oh, Brett. I, was, I, was, I, I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. Call him the queen. Then he'll yeah, be he's the queen of ABD. He knows. He's our queen. <laughs> he is a queen. <laughs> but, I think it's good, and it definitely merits a 93. I, I'll still give this a 4.25 on untapped. I still think it's a very nice barrel-aged yeah, beer. 4.25? Because I, it has yeah. very great flavor, but the, the, the body subtracts it. Like, to think that I gave this series of beer 98 100, dragging it's, it down to a 93 be, is a very big drop. I think on untapped, this would be more than 4.25 for me. Okay. Just, it, yeah, it's not that bad. But I was expecting... No, no. But you were saying, like, Whoa. Yeah. yeah, actually I was, so, yeah. I was expecting exactly this, but I can see why the appeal of this is going down compared to other. That's definitely you know newer breweries that's done better. But that's what I to. But know, the flavor is spot on. It the needs, flavor is great. It, it needs a lot of uh, mouthfeel. Yeah. So. That's it, guys. Yeah, 92, 93 for me. Yeah, yeah. 93. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. For the breweries, it's Tom from 2018. Yeah. Very fun to finally crack this. It's yeah. been sitting in the cell for so Thanks long. Thanks for I'm, sharing. No problem. I thought I would. No matter what, I want to share with you because you had the same kind of experience with the old series, yeah. or the old vintages, as me. I don't. I haven't seen these around since, really. No, me neither. But um, I saw know. a few in, in the British web shops uh, for the new. Yeah, there's been a couple of sales where they've done vintage yeah. bottles of it. But, but newer yeah. than the Attain. I don't know what the name is, but uh, yeah. the years newer. Yeah. But if you guys have had this specific vintage or newer one, so that's what we thought of it. What's your favorite uh, old ale slash barley wine type beer? Uh, is it still a brewery that you think is the king? I wouldn't agree. There's definitely better yeah, ones out good. there. But you know, these guys were progenitors of these multi heavy barrel aged beers yeah. back in the day. And they definitely need credit for that because it still tastes great, but it might not be the same level as, you know, new brewers who's been you know working with it more and doing it in a different way and whatever but i still think it's great beer. Sounds it is cool. it is definitely great beer. yeah glad we cracked it i'm glad i cracked it with you yeah thank you so thank you thank you, thank you. if you guys had a chance let us know uh if you had a chance to try it, let us know as always please comment subscribe check out the facebook fan page twitter and instagram give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it ring the bell for future notifications about videos this was a long review <laughs> and we're going to say revere Review. Review.
And we're gonna say cheers and say lambing and see you guys in another beer review.